Sheikh Zayed was always focused on discovering the history of the region. I mean, he himself was a historian. He knew the history of the tribes of the region, the, tri the names of the leaders. He knew them one by one. And he was also keen on discovering the history of the Emirates, the archaeological history of the Emirates. In 1953, uh, uh, Jeffrey Bibby, a uh, British uh, uh, archaeologist, went with a Danish a team to Bahrain in, and looking for the city of Delmont, that fabled city that was an empire, a trading empire, uh, sitting on the trading rocks between Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley. People thought it was the place where Eden uh, initially was uh, imagined or preconceived. Uh, and Sheikh Zayed knew of other places in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi that resembled the findings that were found in uh, Bahrain. So he brought the same Danish team at, at that time with his brother, Sheikh Shakhbut, in 1959 to start looking on the island of, of uh, Umm Nar, where he went with his father even as a young boy on fishing uh, trips. And he knew also in Al Ain, in the Healy, in Bid'a bin Tis'ud, in Jabal Hafid. So he brought uh, these, this team in order to look for the same uh, archaeological finds and he took them by himself personally to visit the various sites. And of course, they found wonderful also uh, remains of this community that lived here 4,000 years ago, traded with Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley, and also was instrumental in digging those underground fellage system that brought water from the mountains, passing through different, uh, you know, over the, uh, over the lands, uh, different scales in order to reach the oasis. So he was keen on uh, discovering this past and then also equally keen on setting it up in a museum. He had instructed us to have that museum built in 1969 before Al Ain even had uh, water uh, supplies uh, and, 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 and roads and other uh, infrastructural necessities. And the reason was he wanted to show that this land had a history, that his people were a people that traded with the rest of the world over centuries ago, that we are open to have exchanges with the rest of the world around us, and we are proud of our own history. And because he wanted to have this as part of the curriculum that is taught to our young people. Don't forget that in the early days, everybody spoke of these countries as oil countries, that they are nothing but newly uh, founded lands, if you like, based merely on oil. And he was telling them, no, we have a history and we want this history to be known by others.